I'm gonna whip up the best tomato soup ever. I love this soup. My friend Kathy's been making this soup for years and every time I try it, I like it a little bit more than the time before. Now I've got some diced onion sauteing in three quarters of a stick of butter. And I'm gonna throw in two cans of diced tomatoes. This is a really easy soup, which makes it even better. And then a big old can of tomato juice. You can use flavored tomato juice, but I like to just do it plain. The beauty of the tomato flavor really shines through. All right, now I'll just give this a stir. Now I'm gonna add two or three tablespoons of sugar. It doesn't make the soup sweet, it just offsets the acidity of all the tomato products in here. Three. All right, stir that in. And then I'm gonna add plenty of freshly ground black pepper. I don't always use freshly ground black pepper because it takes time, energy, muscles to crank this grinder. But Kathy always used fresh ground black pepper in hers and I do it the same as she does. All right, now I'll throw in three chicken bouillon cubes. They just add extra flavor to the soup. This soup is really big on flavor and that's why I love it so much. Okay, now I'll stir it around. I'm gonna crank up the heat and let it come to a boil. Now I'm gonna add the special ingredient that makes this soup extra delicious, sherry. I'm gonna pour in about a cup. The sherry just gives it a wonderful flavor and I add it after it boils because I don't want it to all disappear. That's a cup and then I always do this because I can. And now I'm gonna add a cup and a half of heavy cream. Did I mention this soup is delicious? The cream just gives it a wonderful richness. You'll get that wonderful light pink color, so delicious. Now I'll stir this around. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I smell that sherry already. Looks wonderful. Now I'm just gonna add some herbs. I'll start with about a fourth a cup of parsley and I'll just give it a rough chop. This soup really doesn't need much help, but I love the little green flecks in the soup. It makes it really, really pretty. All right, now I'll throw that in. And then a few basil leaves. I'll just roll them in a bunch. And then slice it. And then the basil goes in. I'm gonna do a little bit more freshly ground black pepper. You can't have too much in a soup like this. All right, now I'm just gonna give it a stir, and I hate to tell you, but that's it. The soup is that easy. Now it's just about keeping it warm, and then I'm gonna gobble it down for lunch later. I cannot wait.